Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Today we have a 2005 Honda Shadow, uh, is it Sabre or Sabre? One of those two. Uh, anyways, it's got some charging issues. Uh, when the bike is running, it's actually not producing enough charging voltage to actually charge the battery and the bike will die uh, after riding it for maybe about a half hour to an hour or so. The owner has to put it on a uh, trickle charger every night just to have it to be able to ride to and from work. It's a very short commute, but if he goes any uh, distance further than that, the bike will die on him. So, first thing we want to do is to go ahead and pull off the cover for the battery. I already did that, and we want to check our battery voltage and make sure that we still have a good battery. For these batteries, and most motorcycle batteries for that matter, anything between 13 and 13.2 volts is a full charge. Anything below 12.3 volts is considered a dead battery. So I don't think you're supposed to see zero volts. 12.3 volts is considered a dead battery. And the bike will most, not, most likely not turn over with a battery that has less than 12.3 volts of charge for a motorcycle. So let's see where we're at. We are at 13.27, so we are at a full charge and even with a little bit of a surcharge on the battery. So we're doing okay. The next step is to start the bike and to measure the charging voltage that's getting uh, sent to the battery from the charging system. I wasn't sure if you guys were able to hear me over the sound of the engine, but uh, if you noticed, the voltage we had from the charging system was actually less than the battery voltage, which means that we weren't uh, actually getting charged to the battery. Uh, what we were getting was the battery was supplying voltage to the bike to allow it to run. Uh, so now that we know we have a charging system fault, um, there two ways to go about diagnosing it. One is going to be through the stator and the other one is going to be through the rectifier. Typically our problem is going to be in one of those two areas. And I'll make one video for each as to uh, how to diagnose which one uh, is the problem. Thanks for watching and make sure you get a chance to check out those other two videos. I'll have them up shortly. Thanks. Bye.